regular tempo first. This is your tempo from earlier. So you can see that, yeah, the wrist and arms pull the club back. Your lower body does it as a result and rabbles a little bit. Then you bring the club back down and time it well and steer it on through. So we'll go to the setup positions now. You know, like I said, posture is good. You know, balance is pretty good. Club face is squared up. Club angle is opposite your waist. Left hand is fine. It's that right hand and arm to get a little bit tighter, rigid. Right. And the right arm tends to firm up too much. So if that right arm can stay a little more relaxed, almost tucked in slightly to your body as you did on the last couple swings, that allows everything to go back more together as a unit in one piece, leading with the left shoulder, starting it back. So we're going to watch your takeaway from where you were at. And look how your club head's got to kind of move out and almost roll open, club face. And that's how you get that right arm to soften, right? And you, you get to the top, there's a little bit of a hitch, and you bring it back down in front of your body. You turn your hands over and roll them through and square it and swing on through the top half of your body. But there's a lot of work to achieve that goal, right? Okay. So in the future, the club head would go back almost in one piece on a slightly inward arc. You can see the path of my golf club, right, as it moves away from the ball with that lead shoulder swinging everything back in one piece. Lower body stays quieter as a result, and the club follows your legs and hips as you drive and pivot, push on through into a full finish. Is that, after, is that 